we are here in the heart of Bangkok. We are somewhere in the Asia Hotel where we are staying. And it's so close to the BTS station there. And it's so, so convenient. That's why we chose to stay here because we also have the Muslim area just behind here where we can get halal food quite easily. So we are just walking. Uh, just walking, <laughs> literally. You've got so many things here. Let me just check it out. Uh, traditional Thai massage is closed at the moment. And we've got a romantic massage, a all massage. Wow. It's Sounds interesting. I'm, I'm, actually, I would like to have a massage after walking, and it would be nice just to sit there and relax. This is the clong, but the. Uh, I know. <laughs> My husband is smelly, but I just want to experience it. But we've got to go to the other side. We've got to cross the bridge there and go over to the other side if we want to get on the river taxi. I just want to experience it. I'm not wanting to do it. Oh, you can actually walk along the canal. Never mind, it's no experience and I like to do this. <laughs> Come on, let's go. This is one of the little joints. That is why Bangkok is called Venice of the East. Because of all these canals or clongs. Well, not exactly Venice, but almost. Just walking through this little place to go to where the river taxi stops. So it's all street food, I think. A lot of stuff there. This one going the other way. Oh, they both, ways. Mm, both ways. How do you buy the ticket? I'm driving the boat, the boat taxi. This is to avoid the jam, you know, and on the streets of Bangkok. Well, now they have overcome many of the traffic congestion because they have got BTS on the Sky Train as well as the, the Metro. <laughs> I told us that we're just going on for two stations, but it seems to be a long way from one station to another. Uh, try to explore other things. The water is like coffee and the smell is... Ah, I can enjoy the smell. It's okay. It's okay. Really okay. Uh, racing down. Yeah, it's very nice. Because that's one day one get and 20 cents. <laughs> How am I going to jump? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you for doing this. It's always been my dream to get us to this. Hey, wait, am I ready? Okay. I don't know this side. Actually, many people think this. Very convenient, I think. You don't have to hassle with that tuk tuk driver who wants to take you to other places besides the place that you want to go to. And, uh, yeah. I think I like it. I should have discovered this a long time ago. Ah, ni lain tak larat ni. <laughs> lain lah tangga. Oh my goodness. But since I asked for it, I might as well do it. wandering around and I gotta be very careful this retail kind of uh, business it will go on for until night different people maybe Goreng gorengan. Yes. Dua ringgit. In my younger days, I would have gone straight to this mall, the Palladium. 
but not now. <laughs> I just would like to wander around along the five foot way to see what they have to offer. Something that I've always wanted to do. This is platinum area. And for platinum area is a wholesale market kind of thing. Place that I used to go to and I just just love to walk around. Sitting down by the along. We're going to take our river taxi back later, but we're just sitting here having our coffee and uh, kind of um, getting used to the smell actually. <laughs> Once your the noses are numb, then you find that the odor is not overpowering. It's okay. Look at the color of the water. <laughs> Despite the smell, we'll be enjoying ourselves drinking coffee and eating ground nuts. My husband, eh, he's feeding me with peanuts all the time. <laughs> I'm not a monkey, you know, when you're giving me all this thing. Then I ask him to take a photograph. I mean, video, they're not so keen. Lah. Uh, so he's like sitting down, taking his coffee and eating his peanuts. I shouldn't complain, can? At least he's here with me. You know, if you want to be a YouTuber, and if you cannot afford to have somebody taking videos for you, you have to do it all by your little self. Like me. I get used to it. My husband, as long as he accompanies me, I should be okay. I should be thankful. As long as I give him coffee and food, he'll be okay. That's why they have this plastic cover. So that water doesn't splash on to the passengers. Just beyond that, you have the high rise. You know, Bangkok, we know. But this is the, uh, the other side of Bangkok. Yang kita selalu tak nampak kan Kita nampak yang bangunan-bangunan tinggi Yang pak-pak banyak cantik-cantik If you take the river taxi You will see this side of that car We're just going to explore this place Oh, Jim Thompson's house is 230 meters from here And we are walking beside the Klong The canals And it says that it's about 230 meters To go to Jim Thompson's house I've been to Jim Thompson's house, but I took a taxi there before. That was just nice walking here and exploring this place. It's covered the outside of Bangkok, which I'm glad I did it. Just walking by the Klong, just wandering around. I'm not looking to so much of shopping these days, so this is the kind of thing that I enjoy now. To make the place interesting, they have got all these wall murals. Make the place colorful. Ramai di sini ada orang Islam. Dulu saya pernah pergi dekat rumah Jim Thompson ni. Dia tunjuklah kita dalam dia semua kan. What they do. And uh, the story says that Jim Thompson looked out of his house and every day he saw this Muslim craftsman or uh, artisan doing work. So he decided that uh, we could work together with them. So this girl used to cross the clung and come up to this house here and uh, actually work uh, at whatever. Jim Thompson House Museum. This is Steinberg and it's best. 